Uh, hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how you can make your footage from your screen grab more dynamic and um, interesting. So uh, we will be using DaVinci Resolve and Fusion uh, to be exact. So uh, let's jump in. <sighs> okay, so I just recorded everything and uh, for some reason I didn't see it coming when I play uh, played the rendered video the uh, the quick time which I'm using to record this just shut down my recording session and just played the video uh, so I will be doing this once again so Forgive me for this uh, confusion right here, but we can go to the fusion right now. Forget that you are seeing things like this. We will be starting from scratch. So we've got something like this. This is uh, 1920 by 1080. We need to do a crop so shift spacebar crop and we got the crop right here we move the crop here so we just make the um, 1080 by, by 1080 for instagram of course and now uh, media in we need some kind of 3d display 3D, 3D space, we need um, camera, okay, so it will add with uh, 3D merge and we need some kind of renderer, so we will do this to here, this one will be non-existent and now we have something like this. So. Why do we have a blank space? Because our camera is... Where our camera is? I'll show you this. Okay, so in 3D space, our camera is here, right? So we can see nothing. To see anything, we need to take our camera and just pull it back to showcase our timeline okay so we would like to see more of this and to move this this screen like this on the macbook you need to sh hit uh, shift and with two fingers or your, on your trackpad you can move this uh, into the face uh, so let's pull this even further away. Mm, not like this. We need to go right there and like this so I can see something. Okay, so this is it. This is our central portion. We need to go back in in this direction okay so this is the, the center point with our our mouse right here we need to put this 
Uh, okay, so you can uh, change the um, position of your camera. You can hit here and change the rotation of your camera. And here you can see how the, uh, the everything will be changing. But what I like to do is to use target and with target you have this point and this point and this is only two points that you are interested in. So if I for example move the camera, look that the point on my screen is just standing still, right? So if we can uh, predict where our mouse cursor will be going like so so this will be right here some kind of okay so we can do uh, let's make first frame our playhead to to the beginning make a keyframe right here not this this one two three okay and now we can go and move to the place where our cursor will start to move oh too far away too far in too far in okay somewhere around here okay and now we can go and add another keyframe with the places where we Okay, so this is it for now. Okay. Let's go here, let's go right here, and let's do this test one. Render queue is start and start rendering this stuff. I hope you like this video. If you like this, please hit the like button. If you love this, please, please do subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. I will see you in the next one. Bye.